Hey everybody, this is Jake Jabarelli of Jabarelli.com. Just a bunch of referral links. Coming back to the Ubuntu server build with Open Smartphone Test Farm. Open Smartphone Test Farm. I say that right. Open Smartphone Test Farm. Open SDF. Anyways, this is my server. Open SDF. See, it says down here. I don't know if you can read that or not. It says, let's see if I can focus here. Focus. Yes. There we go. Jake at Open SDF. So there's a couple things we're going to do to do to set this up. Uh, first things first, uh, I need to talk to you guys about sudo. Sudo is kind of a way of getting around what's called root. It says it here right here, C manual root. You need to use sudo command in front of every command that you want the operating system to actually do something. So uh, first things first, we're literally going to update the operating system. We already have a network connection over here. Hold uh, net, network connection. I'm going to run sudo apt. Oops, p. No, there's a p in there somewhere. Apt dash. It's hard to do this in the dark. <laughs> uh, get up. No, oh, there's a p. Date. There we go. Sudo apt get apt hyphen get update. And it'll ask me for my password, and I'll say that's my password, and it'll go through all this stuff, go out to the internet, grab all the updates, the latest stuff, and it's done. So the next thing we need to do is get a, a software called Docker Compose, because the guy that runs this thing, um, or that created the little compiler for us, uh, wrote it in Docker Compose. And we already have Docker installed, and we already have all the other software we need. Docker is just the thing that will allow us to run open STF on this, this laptop. So we do sudo again, and this time again, apt hyphen get, and then, and this time we're gonna install software, and we're gonna install the software called docker hyphen compose. Hit enter, all right, there we go. It's grabbing. Now this is where I think I mentioned in the, in the instructions, you'll see it. Uh, do you want to continue? Yes, I want all these things. We hit capital Y, hit enter. And it's going and grabbing all the stuff on the interwebs, downloading it, putting it on a computer for us conveniently. Kind of like doing a Windows update or updating your apps on your phone. It's really no different. Uh, same rule, really, honestly, the same basic kind of thing. Grabbing a lot of stuff, grabbing a lot of stuff. So this is all Docker stuff. No, I'm pretty sure we already have Docker installed, although I, I should probably just check in case. Um, oh, no, wait, no, I, I set it up earlier. No, I definitely have Docker installed already. All right, so they want us to do a restart. Yes. Done that. Installing a, a little bit more software. Python is a is a uh, scripting software. I don't know if you guys can read that or not. It's pretty small. Yeah, and we're all done. So I'm just going to make this easier, clear, clear the whole screen, and make it all pretty again. Now we have to get the. Uh, all right, let me just a little bit of help stuff around here. So we are in the in my Jake directory on my own name. I'm going to type ls. Hit enter. Oops, no, wait. There's no files. <laughs> All right, that makes sense. We're actually in my directory. I'm going to do print working directory, pwd. And it says, where are we? We're at home slash Jake. I don't know if you can read that or not. It's really tiny. Um, All right, so we're in the home directory for my account on this computer. Now, I only created one account, so this is the only home account there is. Uh, it's like being on your desktop on your Windows computer or, you know, main screen on your I iPhone or whatever. So what we need to do is get a copy of the software that the guy wrote to um, make this all happen. Now, that copy is on GitHub. Now, I don't know if you've heard of GitHub, but it's a repository for all kinds of scripts and softwares out there. Anybody will make something, they can put it on GitHub. There's lots of different ways of doing it. I'm gonna get that right now. Okay, so I typed it all out. It's uh, it's long enough. You know, unfortunately, you can't just click on the link and have it show up here. Uh, I guess if you were doing it on a virtual machine, you could, but for this point, I actually have to type it all out. So sudo git clone and then his whole address where his you know, script is. Hit enter, it says cloning STF POC dash POC. So that now ends up, if I use that LS command I talked about earlier, and now there's a little blue uh, folder. That's the uh, color of 
folders when you're talking about command line, at least in Ubuntu. So we need to go into that, we need to change directory, cd, into stf. Now you're going to see me use a little, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, shortcut here, hit tab, and it completes it because the only thing in the folder is stf poc. So if I hit tab, it just populates the rest of it out. And then that's there. Okay, and we look at ls and say, okay, look, there it is. Okay, now we need to do a couple of th things before we do the final build. In particular, we need to find out what the IP address. Now, you knew what the IP address was before, remember? We, we found that out. It was um, 192.168. Uh, it 86.213. So I remembered that, but now IT guy, IP addresses are my forte. So what we need to do is we need to change a file so that we can access the website from this computer. So I use a program, in a, what's called a text editor called VI. And that file just happens to be, let me just show you the file so you can see what I'm talking about here. Oops, LA. All right, so this is another way of listing all the files, even hidden files. Hidden files usually have a dot in front of them. And I actually say this in the um, instructions. Um, the .env file here, .env right there, we need to edit that file. So I'm going to type, let's clear the screen again here. Um, vi, which is the editor, dot e n v, and it gives us this file. Can you, if you ever use that? Yeah, you can. Okay. Um, all right. So currently, the public IP shows is one ninety two one sixty eight four dot eighty five. That's not mine at all. That was his. So I need to go over and hit I. Now you can't see this. It's at the very bottom of the screen. It says insert, which means I'm allowed to change the file. So I go here to the end, backspace out, and then type in eight. 6.213. Uh, just a note to make this easier on you guys. Don't use the number pad. If you have a number pad on your keyboard, don't use it when you're typing this in. It'll mess everything up. Just trust me on this. I, I make the mistake commonly enough all the time. Um, I'm going to change this to my name. All right, now, and to save this, you're like, how do you save the text file when you don't have a click, you know, save button? You do escape. And then you do colon W Q exclamation point. So you guys can see it's at the bottom. Way down here. And I gotta focus on that. Yeah. It's not gonna focus. Yeah, well. Anyways, right here, right down here in the corner, it says colon W Q exclamation point. I hit enter. Uh can't write okay, my bad. Correction made. I will admit my error in the middle of this video because I'm trying to do it all live. <laughs> I left out the key word. <laughs> you probably remember from the beginning. And those who, of course, already knew the right. Sudo, S-U-D-O, then V-I dot E-N-V. Enter. Okay. So it was preventing me from writing it because I didn't use the keyword. All right. I for insert. Back out the values. A6.213, and I'm going to leave everything else because I'm not right. So, escape to get out, and then colon again to do WQ bang, or WQ, let's just do WQ. Uh, right now it's written, it wrote, it finished, it saved the file, and then we can, and when we're back out again. So, now that the file's changed, we can do the build. Okay. Finally get to build the part, and then we're almost done. So, docker dash compose, that was the program we we uh, downloaded earlier. Up, I don't know why that's there. Dash B, dash D, pardon me. D as in dog, D as in David, dash dash B-U-L-D. Okay, that's all you do. <laughs> Magic word, don't forget that, Jake. All right, sudo docker dash compose up dash d dash dash build and there's spaces between all that except for the docker compose enter doing a lot of stuff downloading a lot of files extract 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 this takes a little while so i'm going to pause it's getting there it's almost done almost done and it's done okay so I'm sure that was a lot of stuff to absorb. I know it's like 10 minutes worth of video here and I had to pause a bunch of times in between, but that's it. 
assuming we did everything correctly, which now this is like the fifth time I've done it, um, this should work. So I'm gonna pause one more time, take it over to the main screen and show you what it looks like. And here we go. If you look up in the top corner up here, if you read it or not, 192.168.86.213. And it has a bunch of other stuff that comes out, but that's fine. Now, you literally can set up any account you want. This is supposed to be set up for many users, but we're making it for just one user on one computer. This is my laptop and the other thing. That's, that's what the IP is. This is my other computers I use normally for everything else I do my job with. Jake, spell my name right. Jake, and then my website, or my uh, Severelli at me. That's yes, you may email me there if you're having problems. Log in, and hey, look at all those phones. That's the Nexus 5. I was just working on that one. Cash Magnet. Oh, hey, Cash Magnet. Let's start you up. Let's start. There we goes. Oh, go back to this. All right, well, anyways, let's go to a different phone. Hey, that's running uh, Honey Game. Devices. Let's try this one. Oh, another Honey Game phone. How this one? That looks like it's running Cash Magnet right now. And another one. And that is definitely running Cash Magnet. Got 21 hours left. All these games. Blah, 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 blah. It seems it's up there. Up. Oh, it's still going. Look at that. Let's go back to devices. What about this phone? Also Honey Game. And it looks like I also have, uh, uh, what is it? Nope, it's just a Honey Game at the top. This is all the things it runs. It's the STF service. Uh, you have to have user debug. I'll talk about that in another video. But that's all the stuff. So... That's how you set up the server. Any questions, please email me, jabberelli at tac.me.